Hello, I'd like to share with you an article titled A Critical Discourse Analysis of the Images of Iranians in Western Movies, the Case of Iranian. The authors, Muhammad Reza Amirian, Ali Rahimi, and Walam Reza Sami. I'll read you the abstract. The significant role of the media in general, and movies in particular, in disseminating information and creating images of the real life by use of the language as a powerful social tool is totally irrefutable. Although critical analysis of the movies, movie discourse is a fashionable trend among the critical discourse analysts, there is a paucity of research on movie discourse in Iran. Besides, the increasing number of the anti-Iranian movies produced in the last decade and the growing tendency among the English students to watch American movies have established the need for conducting a research to investigate the image of Iranians represented in the Western movies. Thus, in this article, an, an anti-Iranian movie called Iranian, Iranian, allegedly labeled as documentary, has been critically analyzed using critical discourse analysis. For this purpose, Van Dyke's framework 2004 has been utilized to uncover the ideological manipulations and misrepresentations of this movie. The analysis revealed that the dichotomy of in-group favoritism versus out-group derogation is a very effective discursive strategy at the disposal of the movie makers who have used language as a weapon to attack Iran by representing a distorted and unrealistic image of the Iranian history, culture and ideologies. The findings of the present study imply that Adopting a critical discourse analysis perspective in the EFL classes is a necessity which needs the development of the required materials by the curriculum developers that raise the students' critical awareness as well as their language skills and proficiency. The keywords, critical discourse analysis, discursive structures, derogation, euphemization, hegemony, ideology, manipulation, and power. I proceed to the part that is actually introduction, st statement of the problem. Media today has become an integral part of life in modern societies. Development of new technologies, computer and entertainment industries, including the film industry, has encouraged a titanic struggle among some of the largest corporations in the world for, for, control of, for control and consolidation of information in the industry. Uh, Hollywood, which is often used as a metonymy for American cinema, is the birthplace of some of the biggest film production who have been in charge of the production of the most famous blockbusters of all time. Then the, the, the situation is different you know, for Iranians though. There is a great tendency nowadays among English students as well as their teachers to increase their exposure to the foreign language by watching movies, TV series, talk shows and documentaries. The, the article proceeds, there, therefore it's, uh, it seems absolutely necessary for the Iranian language learners to develop a critical approach toward movies and exercise caution in selecting them. They need to learn how to increase their grasp of reality and face the distortions and fabrications and, and this would not be possible unless they are introduced to the techniques and procedures of manipulation and misinterpretation and misrepresentation of images of different cultures. As a result, this study can guide both English, English teachers and students in the selection of the movies and shed some light on the hidden discursive structures and ideologies embedded in their discourse.
Then the, the article proceeds with the, the significance of the study, the findings of the present study in the area of critical discourse analysis, including the discourse of ideological manipulation and ideological implications of the discourse of certain movies, of certain movies can be presented to the field of applied linguistics, including pedagogy and specifically curriculum and materials development to develop materials that raise students' critical awareness as well as their self-actualization and creativity. The objectives of the study, considering the paucity of research on movie discourse in Iran and the increasing amount of the anti-Iranian movies in the last decade, this article aims at investigating the image of Iranians represented in a Western movie. The researchers seek to uncover the discursive structures embedded in the discourse of the movie, of this movie and reveal the ideological manipulations and power relations invisible to the naked eyes. CDA techniques proposed by Van Dyck's framework have been utilized to scrutinize the language of the movie which represents a distorted and stereotypical image of Iranians to the world. I go to the research question. Number one, what CDA techniques, discursive structures and strategies have been utilized by the producers of this movie to construct and disseminate the idea of Iranophobia? Number two, what are the discursive manifestation, manifestations of the ideologies and how they are achieved in the selected movie? There are the article actually goes ahead with the approaches to media discourse, different kinds of studying the media, and then the section of methodology. In this article, this social function of language as a powerful social practice in a specific discourse, such as media discourse generally, and the movie discourse particularly, has been examined. There is a great tendency nowadays to represent a distorted and a stereotypical image of Muslims and some other communities, uh, particularly Iranians as terrorists, barbarians who want to destroy and raise to the ground the democracy and freedom of the Western world, especially those of the American societies. Therefore, by analyzing the influence of the world media on the mentalities of the people all over the world. Uh, this article is, is creating the consciousness and awareness about the uh, techniques and procedures used by the spin doctors to be able to distort realities and create images of war, images of terror terrorism, images of fear and fright as uh, actually perpetrated by certain communities. The design uh, I'm not going into the details of the design anyways, but the researchers chose the movie because it, is, it was amenable to the intended CDI framework and epitomized various religious, nationalistic and political viewpoints. The language used in the movie was both politically and religiously charged and it was full of derogation and euphemization strategies to, or negative other representations as well as positive self representation. In other words, it was replete with ideologically manipulative and evaluative vocabulary. The script of the movie was analyzed within the framework proposed by Van Dyck and uh, the dichotomous categorization of this, this dichotomous categorization was employed. Then there is a discussion on uh, Van Dyck's framework including 27 ideological strategies, the most prominent, prominent of which is the dichotomy of derogation and euphemization and derogation. And also, uh, there's a talk on this dichotomy, uh, then talks about the data analysis, uh, talks about the, the movie itself, like a representation, a, a brief summary of the movie itself, like Iranian is a so Iranian is a so-called documentary that, that takes aim at the Iranian revolution, its ideology and the people behind it. This new 
Calarian Fine film is the last production of the series, the series of anti-Muslim, anti-Iranian movies by some producers. So I'm not going to go to the details. I go to the plot summary. You can have the plot, plot summary, and I that 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 is this this ostensible documentary opens with a history lesson that begins in 1978 with the first signs of widespread unrest that would eventually topple the, the Shah. And it proceeds with the... Well, I'm not going to, to you know, give you the, the, the movie, the, the report of it, but the plot of the story, but I, I go through the analysis. The film advertised as documentary is based on the incomprehensible and in the large part uh, baseless and unproven assertions of the interviewees. A true documentary aims at, documentary aims at informing and enlightenment, while this movie aims at obfuscation and, mis and misleading. It seems that those who attempt such propaganda films must be truly aiming at the demented who do not have any access to the world information, and those who through the indolence of their minds readily accept falsehoods or truth. Uh, Uh, the, the, the article goes ahead with the, some explanations of the CDAs of the of the of the movie. That I skip this part and go and, and go to the discussion. The, in response to the first research question, using CDA framework in analyzing the movie array, in anal and analyzing the movie revealed an extensive use of semantic discursive strategies of positive self-representation and negative other representation by the movie producers, which was made possible through other discursive strategies such as actor description, derogation, euphemization and evidentiality. Negative other representation as a semantic macro strategy, which is usually complementary to positive self-presentation, has been used to enlarge the Iranian's deficiency or even ordinary characteristics as them. Throughout the movie, the speakers have repeatedly used derogatory terms and phrases which are usually accompanied with other semantic strategies like, like lexicalization, hyperbole, irony and polarization. In the Iranian, the Iranians are bombarded with a wave of malicious remarks and contemptuous assertions using a derogatory term such as defiant president in the beginning of the film to describe the Iranian president which uh, present, representative of a, of a nation establishes the tone of the film which soon proves to be belligerent and aggressive. The speakers have used the same trend of negative other representation throughout the use of ideologically laden derogatory terms such as Iranian regime, sponsor of terrorism, violator of human rights, extreme doctrine, hostage, terror, again strike, deadly, terrible, pay the price, death, destruction, unthinkable consequence, again endless number of proxy organizations, hijackers, trained fighters, spark, wave of global terrorism and stuff like that, to construct and disseminate the idea of Iraniophobia, the mechanisms of manipulation in the discourse of this movie have been proved to be dramatically manifested in the, the discourse of uh, ideologically laden perspectives. Respond to the second research question. Ideology is a system, it's simply a system of ideas, beliefs, values, attitudes, and categories by reference to which a person, group, or society perceives, comprehends, and interprets the world. That's October 2001. In this sense, ideologies define a person's position in the society and their perspective toward the world. According to Van Dyke, an, ide an ideology is a self-serving schema or a frame for the representation of us and them as social groups and reflects the fundamental social, economic, political, cultural interests or conflicts between us and them. 
Van Dyck believes that a theory of ideology should be multidisciplinary and his approach to ideology relies a cognition society and discourse together. Ideology plays an undeniable role in the symbolic field of thought and belief that is cognition and they are usually associated with group interests, conflicts or struggles. The primary functions of ideologies in a society are manipulation and concealment and are mostly ideologically laden. Therefore, language plays a very significant role in the expression and the reproduction of ideologies. Owing to the fact that language performs within the social systems and institution, it tends to reflect and construct ideology. Therefore, to understand what ideologies are, are and how they work, it is necessary to investigate the discursive manifestations for the fact that the discursive practices are embedded, embedded in social structures, which are mostly constructed, validated, naturalized, evaluated and legitimized in and through language, that is discourse. That is Barahimi and Saharaga 2006. Within this framework of this article, the in-group favoritism versus out-group derogation was investigated in the selection movie, selected movie to demystify the relations between discourse and ideology as represented in the euphemization and derogation process. The viewers make general inferences based upon such, this, such a discourse and construct mental models of Iranians as Muslims and terrorists. Then they general, generalize these inferences with their own basic opinions about related ideological groups. Therefore, this article has been an attempt to investigate the significant role of the media in reproduction and dissemination of ideologies among people with a focus on anti-Iranian sentiment in Western movies. I go to the conclusion. The findings reveal that the products of the Iranian, Iranian made an extensive use of the perplexing power of the semantic components of the language in their arguments to support or reject an ideology. It was also proved that the production of an argument according to Rahimi and Saharagar 2006 is truly affected by the positive and negative meanings of the words and their impact on the audience. On the audience, the breakthrough made in this research substantiated the claim that critical discourse analysis is the proper way of detecting the hidden ideologies of discourse and revealing the discursive structures and manipulative language of the speaker writers. The dichotomy of in-group versus out-group based on Van Dyck's framework proved to be a very effective discursive strategy at the disposal of the movie makers. It, is all, it, also, it, it also showed that language can be used as a weapon to attack a nation and represent a distorted and unrealistic image of the history, culture and ideologies. The huge, the huge power of the words in appearing, in appealing, sorry, in appealing to emotions manipulating one's thought and behavior and misrepresenting the realities has manifested itself in the CDA conducted on the discourse of the selected movie. The manipulation of the audience into, the, into believing that the speaker's ideologies and distortions of the fact have been masterfully attained in this movie and it was re revealed that the main purpose of the movie makers have been naturalization, indoctrination and pontification of certain ideological attitudes into the subliminal knowledge of the viewers. That is the subliminal seduction of the of the mass through your through language and, 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 and practices which are replete with ideologically loaded uh, words and structures. The findings of this study add to the bulk of research done on the field in the field of CDA and suggest the pervasiveness of these strategies in the discourse of media. Anyways, 
uh, to give you a recapitulation of what actually I talked about, it's actually a critical discourse analysis of the uh, of a movie titled uh, Uranium, sorry, Uranium, and it uh, actually uh, the movie turns under the this, the analysis of critical discourse, a critical discourse. The, the movie turned out to be quite manipulative. The, the conversations, the vocabularies, and all the structures, the linguistic structures employed by the, by the, by the director and the maker of the movie turned out to be creating a certain ideology that is uh, revealed through the, the, this critical discourse analysis perspective. Thank you very much.